Okay. <laughs> Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is um, William. Okay, today I'm going to read the Power Bible. Today you're going to read First Kings chapter 16. Okay. Then the word of the Lord came to Jehu, the son of Hani, against Bashas, saying, For which I exalted thee out of the dust, and made thee prince over my people Israel. And thou hast people walked in the way of Jeroboam, that hast made my people Israel to sin, and provoked me to anger with their sins. Behold, I will take my prosperity of Basha. And the prosperity of this house. And I, will take, and, I will, and I will make thy house like the house of Jeroboam, the sons of Nebat. Him that dieth of Basha in the city that shall the dogs eat. And him that dieth of his fields of fowls of the air eat. And the rest of the acts of Basha, what he did, and his might, are they are not written in the book of the Chronicles of the kings of Israel. And Basha stood with his fathers, and buried in Tarza, Alei, the son of Rain, in his stand. Also by the hand of the prophet Jehu, the son of Hani, came the word of the Lord up against Basha. Against this house, for all the evil he did in the sight of the Lord, in provoking him to anger, and the work of his hands is being like the tales of Jeroboam, because he killed him. And twenty and six years of Asa, the king of Judah, began Elah, the, the son of ba Basha, went over the Israel of Tarzah two years. And his servant Zimri, captain of the half of the of the half of the of his chariots, conspired against him. He was in Tarza, drinking himself a drunk in a house of Arza stored of his house in Tarza. And Zemri went and smote him and killed him in the twenty and seventh year of Asa the king of Judah, reigning his stand, and it came to pass. When he began to reign, his son, as he sat on his throne, he slew all the house of Asha. He left them, no one that pisseth against the wall, neither of his kinfolks, nor of his friends. Thus did Samri, and destroy all the house of Asha, according to the word of the Lord, which sprang against Basha and Jehu the prophet. For all the sins of Basha and all and, and the sins of Eli and his son by which they sinned, by which they made Israel to sin and provoking the Lord God of Israel to anger with their vanities. The rest acts of Elah, all that he did, are they not written in this book of the Chronicles of the kings of Israel? In the twenty and seventh year of Asa, the king of Judah, did Zamri, and reigned over seven days of Tarza, and all the people were enclipped, encamped, I mean, encamped against Jibithon, which belonged to the Philistines. And the people were encamped, heard say Zamri, heard conspired. And held against slain the king, therefore all Israel made. I'm ready the king I'm ready the captain of the host and king over Israel that day in the camp. And we went to the of the Jebathon, and all Israel with him, and be, and all they besieged Tarza. And the king of Paz when and Zemri saw that the city was taken. And he went to the palace of the king's house and burned the king's house over him with fire and died. 
For his sins he sinned, doing evil in the sight of the Lord, which walking, which walk in the way of Jeroboam, which is he sinned, which he did make of Israel to sin. Now the rest of the Zamorite, the treason to be wrought, not written in the book of the Chronicles of the kings of Israel, but they were the people of Israel divided into two parts. Half of the people followed Temri, Temni, the son of Ginnath, to make him king, and, and half followed Omri. But the people that followed Omri prevailed against the people that followed Temni against Ginnath. So Temni died, and Omri reigned. The thirty and first year asked of the king of Judah began to Omri to reign over Israel. Twelve years, six years reigned in Tarza. And he bought the hill Semre and Shemer for two talents of silver and built on the hill. And he called the name of the city which he built after the name of Shemer and owned on the hill of Semria. Emory wrought evil in the lights in the eyes of the Lord, and did worse, and then all the were before him. And he, and he walked all the way of the Jeroboam, the son of Nebat, and his sin wherewith he made of Israel provoked the Lord, God of Israel, to anger in their vanities. And now the rest of the acts of Emory which he did, and he might he that he shewed, they are not written in the book of the Chronicles of the kings of Israel. So Omri, they, they swept with his fathers and buried in Samaria. And Ahab, this reigned in his stand. In the thirty, and, and in the thirty of eight year, an eighth year, the Ezek king of Judah began Ahab, the son of Omri, be, to reign over Israel, and had the son of Omri reign over Israel, Samaria, for twenty and two years. And Ahab, the son of Omri, did evil inside the Lord. Above all for him. And it came to pass when it has been light thing for him, walked in the sense of Jeroboam and of Nebat, and took the wife of Jezebel, the daughter of, it, of Ithbel, the, the king of Zedun, and went to the serve Baal and worshipped him. And he rigged up an altar of Baal in the house of Baal, which he had built in, in Samaria. And have them made a grove, and and have did did made to provoke the Lord God of Israel to anger them, all the kings of Israel that were before him. In the days that they did heal, fifth elite built Jericho, and he laid the foundation thereof, and Abraham the his firstborn, and his set of gates thereof, and his youngest son, Segulb, according to the word of the Lord. When he speak by Joshua the son of Nod. Okay, it's ending at first Kings chapter sixteen. And next video I'll read first Kings chapter seventeen. Okay? Okay. Okay, because I'm gonna go right now. So thank you for watching this video. Hope you enjoy the pie.